N4 H and H here with the Yaesu FT891. This is the uh, radio I take for summits on the air. Hike up to mountaintops with it, and uh, have it up on the uh, on the desk here with the uh, FT DX5000 that you're more accustomed to seeing in my uh, videos. But uh, anyway, tomorrow is going to be a soda outing. Let me focus here, and. Uh, so I got the 891. I thought I'd shoot a video with it to uh, to show uh, its capabilities on receive. In this case, CW. I'll, I will tell you, um, it's no slouch. You know, just like with the FTDX 5000 videos you've seen me shoot. You know, you got to get to know the radio and the features and how to combine some of them and. Uh, this is just a little brother of the uh, 5000 has a lot of similar features in the DSP that are a lot of help for uh, for pulling out weak signals and uh, so let's see what we got here I had our, there was a weak signal in here earlier I guess he's gone not weak okay well even with that one I'm gonna do this I'm gonna go into the menu you press the function key and I'm gonna use this zero in option here I just use the multi knob multi knob is the lower left here and I just scroll over to Z, Z in, which is zero in, watch this. Press it, and it's going to automatically set the pitch to whatever I have set as my desired pitch here in the, there we go, the pitch menu, watch this. So I'm set on 550. So it does whatever it has to do to the frequency to give me a 550 hertz tone. So it may have adjusted it up or down slightly. Now I'm gonna go over to uh, tell you what, before I even do APF, let's do it. Let's go out here and do width. So it's set for narrow, which means I can go from 500 down to 50. That makes a tremendous difference there. Now there's also this contour feature. These buttons are programmable, and I've got the ones that I typically use up on a summit programmed in here. Um, contour is a is another great feature to you see you see, you can see by the graph there it's basically a um, you can adjust the depth and the width of it but it's a, kind of scooping some of the audio frequency spectrum and uh, so I just use it to knock a little bit of that rumble in the bottom end there and now I'll go back into, uh, yeah, see, look at the frequency. It moved it just a little bit to give me my 550 hertz desired tone. And uh, now I'm going to engage audio peak filter. Well, let me disable it until he, there he is. Just another icing on the cake there. Now another thing, since he's kind of strong, I'm going to go back in here and do some attenuation and maybe even IPO okay attenuation is going to be enough now I'm going to roll the RF gain back let me get out of this menu here so I'm rolling the RF gain back until it's about equal to his signal so he's He's pushing right in, right near S5. Again, not really S5 because I've got attenuation kicked in, right? All right, now I'm going to undo all this just so you can see how much did that help me. Uh, so first of all, rolling the RF gain back to full. another station in there and you see he's a little bit different tone because he's not at the same frequency 
Um, okay, going back into the menu. Going to disable the attenuator. You know, the folks, the idea is on these lower bands, like here, 40 meters, you don't need that first stage of amplification, the RF amplifier in your radio. Uh, you just don't need that. Um, now I'm going to dis disable the contour. Well, I, actually, let me go in and do disable the APF. And now contour. And now width. Okay, you know, you can still hear him fine, and clearly he's a good strong signal, although we got a, lot, a good bit of it. QRN, but I think you'd have to admit the filter, the contour, the APF filter, and that signal's weaker. Let me do this. There we go. I let the zero in function pull him into the 550 hertz range. So I'm hearing him at the frequency I prefer. I tell you, no slouch, the FT891, a great receiver. Of course, this is CW. I'll shoot another video with sideband, but uh, I have zero complaints about this radio. Uh, just get to know the rig, you know. There's also shift, which can be used also to, again, just knock a little bit more of that noise, QRN, out of the way. Okay, I hope you found the uh, video informative here with the FT-891-73 from N4 H&H. &H.